Hey everybody, today's tutorial is on the countifs, sumifs, and averageifs functions in Excel. And these are the new and improved versions of the outdated countif, sumif, and averageif functions respectively. And these new functions can now take multiple criteria, whereas the old ones could only handle one criterion. So there's really no reason to learn these old functions anymore as the new ones can do everything that the old ones can do and then some. And the best way to learn them is to look at some examples. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the sample data set we'll be using for our examples. This is data on student exam scores from Kaggle, where each row here corresponds to data for one student. So when we're asked to calculate the number of female students in our first question here, we're essentially trying to count the number of rows where the gender column is equal to female. And we can use count if or count ifs here because we only have one criterion. But I'm going to use count ifs, and I'll show you why in a second. So we need a criteria range followed by a criteria. So our range is going to be the entire gender column. So let's go to our data sheet. And because our data is already in a table here, we can use a handy shortcut. We can just select any cell in the column, hit control space, and we've selected that entire column. So that's our criteria range. And we wanna count the number of rows in that column where in our criteria is equal to female. And this needs to be in quotation marks here because this is text data. So if it's a number that you're specifying, you don't need quotation marks, but for text you do. Now we can close parentheses, hit enter, and we have 483 total female students. And let's go ahead and copy this formula because in our second question here, I want the number of female students who also completed a test prep course. So we're adding a second condition. And the beauty of count ifs some ifs and average ifs is that you can go ahead and add as many criteria as you want. So I can just hit comma here and you can't do this with the old functions. And now we can specify a second criteria range and a second criteria for that range. So we want to have the test prep course be completed. So let's go to our data sheet, select our test preparation course as the criteria range two, and the criteria is going to be completed. Again, in quotation marks, because this is text data. Hit enter, and we have 160 total students who meet that criteria. And next, we have three criteria here. So number of male students in ethnic group B who completed a test prep course. So equals count ifs. First, we need male. So where the gender column is equal to male. Second, where the ethnicity column is equal to group B. And the third and final range is the test preparation course column. And the criteria for that is completed. Close parentheses, and we have 32 students. For this next question here, let's look at the notes I have in the gray box over to the right. So for logical operators, those being greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, and not equal to, you need to follow this syntax in these functions. So number of male students who scored at least 90 in math. So count ifs, and our criteria range is going to be the math score column. So let's select our column. Then for our criteria, let's go back to our example question sheet. We can delete this sheet reference. And let's look at the syntax here. So at least 90 means greater than or equal to. And we need that to be in quotation marks here, followed by an ampersand, and then 90. And you don't need 90 in quotation marks because this is a number, not text. So close parentheses, hit enter, and we have 65 students. And finally, for count ifs, let's calculate the number of male students who scored below 50 in both math and reading. So three criteria here so equals count ifs. First, we need the gender column, where that is equal to male. Secondly, we need the math score column. And below 50 means less than 50, so less than in quotation marks, ampersand 50, and the same exact thing for the reading score. And you can take a look at that formula if you need to. Hit enter, and there are 40 students that meet that criteria. 
The only difference in the function syntax going from count ifs to sum ifs is that with sum ifs, we also need to specify a sum range first, or the range you actually want to take the sum of. So let's calculate the total number of reading points scored by students who received standard lunch. So our sum range is going to be the reading score column. And now everything else in terms of specifying criteria ranges and criteria will be the exact same as what we just covered. So our range is going to be the lunch column and the criteria is going to be standard. Close parentheses, hit enter, and there's our total. Now let's calculate the total number of reading points scored by students who did not receive standard lunch. So we can just go ahead and copy this formula here. And everything applies to sum ifs, just like count ifs, in terms of the logical operators as well. So we can just paste that in here. And now I want to add in a not equal to logical operator. So in quotation marks, not equal to ampersand, and then standard, and there's our total. And finally here for sum ifs, I want a more complicated example with four total criteria. And this is just a reminder that you can use cell references here in addition to just hard coding in your criteria. So our sum range is going to be the writing score. So we'll select that column. And now for the criteria. So first we want gender to be equal to male. And we can just select this cell as the criteria. Next is going to be ethnicity. So select that column, comma, and then the cell as the criteria. Next, we want less than 75 on reading. So the range will be the reading score. And we still need to set up our logical operator. So in parentheses, less than ampersand, and then the cell reference. And finally, we want test prep to be completed. So there's our range, comma, and our cell reference, close parentheses. And you could pause the video if you need to take another look at this formula. I'll hit enter, and there's our total. The average ifs and sum ifs functions have the exact same syntax. It's just this time we'll be calculating the average, not the sum, of this first range that we select. So let's get the average math score by female students who completed a test prep course. So our average range will be the math score column, and then everything is the same for criteria. So gender is equal to female, and test preparation course is equal to completed. Close parentheses, and there's our average value. Next, let's calculate the average total score by men not in ethnic group A and whose parents have master's degrees. So our average range will be total score. We want men, so gender is equal to male. Ethnicity is not equal to group A. So in quotation marks, not equal to operator, ampersand, and then group A. And finally, parental level of education is equal to master's degree. And there's our solution. And lastly here, this is kind of a fun question. So let's show the average total score for each of the unique values in this column. And let's do it without using a pivot table. So we can use dynamic arrays in tandem with average ifs here to do this. So I'll use the unique function. And I want all the uniques in this parental level of education column. So you see this blue box around our array here, which means it is dynamic. So now let's calculate our averages. So average ifs, our average range will be the total score. And our one criterion is that the parental level of education is equal to each one of the values in these cells. So I'll select this cell as my criteria. And because this is a dynamic array here with the unique function, we don't even need to copy anything down. Instead, we can use the hashtag, close parentheses, and now this should automatically copy down for us, which it does. And there are all of our average total scores. So that's the end of the tutorial today. Please like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more of this content in the future. And as always, thanks for watching.